Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. As we have already discussed elasticity, stress and strain, we uh, have also discussed the Hooke's law. And according to Hooke's law, the stress developed in a body is equal to the, is proportional to the strain applied on it. And stress, uh, when we remove the proportionality sign, then a constant comes which is called as modulus of elasticity so we have already discussed that there are three types of stress and there are three types of strain so we can also say that on the basis of those types there are three kinds of elastic modulus so the first elastic modulus is young's modulus and young's modulus is the uh, ratio of longitudinal stress upon longitudinal strain so it is the ratio of longitudinal stress and the longitudinal strain or we can say that when length of the solid changes, then uh, the stress and strain ratio is called as Young's modulus. Now, shear modulus is uh, the ratio of shear stress upon shear strain. And we have uh, discussed then uh, that when a body is being deformed in such a way, such that its upper surface is, def is uh, shifted as compared to the lower surface and lower surface is at rest so the ratio of uh, that shear stress and the shear strain of the body is called as shear modulus or modulus of rigidity and the third one is the bulk modulus now the bulk modulus is the ratio of volumetric stress and the volumetric strain so volumetric stress is the stress developed in a body when its volume changes or we can also say that the volumetric stress is itself pressure and volumetric strain is we know that it is the change in volume upon the original volume of the body. Now we also uh, can derive this fact that the unit of uh, modulus of elasticity is same as the unit of stress because strain has no unit and stress has the unit of pressure which is newton per meter square so we can say that the modulus of elasticity gamma has a uh, dimensions of pressure and uh, it is equal to the in dimensionally it is equal to the stress and pressure so this was uh, the modulus of elasticities and in next video we'll discuss that how a wire uh, is being stretched due to its own weight thank you hello guys welcome on tesla adventures in this video we'll discuss the poison's ratio so uh, you can see you can imagine that if there is a, a rod or a material or a wire which is stretched in this direction with some tensile force then its length increases but its diameter decreases or its radius decreases okay so if uh, we have applied the force in this this direction then there are two types of strains are developed the first strain developed is longitudinal strain which is uh, the ratio of change in length along the direction of force upon the original length and the lateral strain is the change in uh, diameter of the wire upon the original diameter and it is uh, called as lateral because this change in diameter is uh, along the direction which is perpendicular to the direction of force so this is lateral strain and this is longitudinal strain so longitudinal strain is delta L by L while lateral strain is minus delta R by R. Where this negative sign represents a fact that uh, the radius or the diameter is decreasing as we are increasing the length. Okay. So the ratio of this lateral strain and the longitudinal strain is called as Poisson's ratio. So this is delta R by R upon delta L by L with a negative sign. Now you can see that this uh, delta R by R is itself a dimensionless quantity and delta L by L is itself a dimensionless quantity. Therefore, the Poisson's ratio 
is also a dimension less quantity and it is a unit less quantity now <clears throat> this negative sign shows that on increasing the length the radius of the wire will decrease and the theoretical value of poisson's ratio for all the substances lie in the range of minus 1 to 0 0.5 but the practical value lies in the range of 0 to 0 0.5 now let us discuss that uh, in which cases the poisson's ratio is positive or negative or zero so if uh, there is some material whose length whose length increases when we stretch those materials and whose cross section radius decreases so this is uh, delta l plus l and this diameter initially was d and this is in fact radius we are talking about so this is r and this is r minus delta r so you can see that uh, delta r is negative because the radius has decreased and delta l is positive now already poisson's ratio is equal to minus of delta r by r upon delta l by l so if this delta r is again negative then uh, the two negative signs will make this poisson's ratio as positive so this is positive and uh, this poisson's ratio has a positive value for most of the materials for example the steel has a poisson's ratio of approximately 0 0.28 uh, aluminium has a poisson's ratio of 0 0.33 so these are the uh, poisson's ratio for different materials now there is a material which is called as oxetic a material which is called as oxetic oxetic material is used uh, to make the shoes so this is oxetic and oxetic material is uh, having the poisson's ratio sigma uh, as negative okay so what uh, does i mean to say that if uh, for this oxetic material let's suppose this is oxetic material whose normal length was l and when we are pulling this material its cross section area increases and its length also increases so that new length is l plus delta l and this is a stretching force and its radius also increased so delta r is positive for oxetic material and uh, delta l is also positive therefore the poisson's ratio which has a negative sign already in its formula will be negative okay like that so for oxetic materials poisson's ratio is negative and for material like cork cork uh, you uh, you must have heard the name cork so for cork material the poisson's ratio is a zero which means if we stretch the cork then its cross section area does not change it remains constant so this is the stretched length l plus delta l and this is the original length so uh, this radius remains same so lateral strain is zero for cork <clears throat> so poisson's ratio is zero for cork material okay and there is another kind of material which is called as honeycomb and for honeycomb material this poisson's ratio is also negative uh, in fact positive sorry negative for honeycomb and oxetic poisson's ratio is negative for cork it is zero and for steel and aluminium like normal materials it is positive so uh, this was the poisson's ratio and we will be discussing 
some more detailed facts in next videos thank you